Hey Spartans, so today we're starting our unit on line. So our line unit is really focused on that contour kind of drawing, that coloring book kind of style. So to start off, we did our small project, which were Zentangles. So Zentangles are a repetitive pattern known to be relaxing, calming, and they promote creativity. So when you think of Zentangles, I want you to think of doodles. They're little tiny doodles, those little like circles or swirls you do on the side of your math work. Those are Zentangles. So ideally, um, Zentangles can be anything you want. But we practiced watching a video and we did 24 different Zentangles. Now what I wanted you to do is after you did 24, I wanted you to look at your list and then I wanted you to star your favorite 10 because we need those 10 um, if we do for our project that we're gonna do right now. All right, so we did our 24 Zentangles. We picked our favorite 10, and now we're gonna go into a project called Mandala. So Mandala, when it's translated, it means circle. So Mandala is basically a giant flower, but it is a circle shape because it's a geometric figure and which represents the universe in Hindu and Buddhist culture. And so that symbolism of being the universe has to be a circle, okay? So that's what Mandala comes out to be. Now, we are making a circle form and you get to design how you want that flower design to look like. So after you've made a very simple flower or some kind of circle pattern, you are gonna then pick your favorite 10 Zentangles and you're going to fill it in and make that kind of black and white coloring book kind of style. So I'm gonna show you how to search for your mandalas to get some ideas. Then I'm gonna show you a small demo of drawing the mandalas and then me filling a couple spots. Now I am not going to do the whole, the whole um, project like I typically do. I'm only gonna do a couple of petals to get the idea because this does take a long time and a lot of focus and it's really gonna be personal to you on which zentangles you actually choose and want to work with. So let's jump into it. You have one whole week to work on it, so please take your time. Make sure it's all done in black and white. Outline it with pen, make it look really neat, and let's go. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna do a quick search of mandalas on Google Images. So you're gonna type it in, and then you're gonna go to Google Images, and you're gonna see a bunch of different styles and different types. So this can be kind of overwhelming because some of them are colored and some of them are photographs of other people's work. So I want you to head over to one of these three tabs and they're either going to be easy, simple, or printout. So I'm clicking on printout just so you can see. Um, they're fairly simple, so I also clicked on easy printout. So these ones are very, very simple. They're just the outline of the mandala. So your goal is just to find an idea of a flower circle shape that you want to sort of replicate. Now you want them to be easy, but you also want them to have enough spots to fill with Zentangles. So that's what our project is, is after you have drawn your um, flower shape, you are filling the whole thing with your Zentangle patterns. And these are what I expect yours to look like after they're completely filled. So like I said, you're going to start with a very easy pattern and then you are going to get into adding those tangles and then it makes it very complex. So think of it as like one of those adult coloring books, um, all those little designs and doodles that you have inside of your flower shape. Now you can look up mandalas with Zentangles like I did right here to show you some examples but um, I would just look up the printout versions to get the idea and then um, if you need more ideas for Zentangles you can type in Zentangles in Google or in YouTube and that will give you some more ideas. Alright so you need a sketchbook, a pencil, a marker, and you need your Zentangle practices. So all the practice, the 24 that we did, the ones that are starred, and then um, I am using a book. So I'm gonna quickly show you how to make a perfect circle if you do not have a tool to make a perfect circle. You can always take an object that is a circle and trace it. 
Um, this is just another way if you don't have a big enough object. So I just ripped out a piece of paper. I'm measuring from the center of my paper to make sure that piece of paper is going to fit perfectly. So on one side, I stab my pencil through. And then the other side is going to go right into the middle. I'm going to hold it down. So take your pencil and you are going to go in a circle. Go over it a few times to make sure you get that perfect circle. And then you have a pretty decent looking circle for very cheap and effective. So now I am going in with whatever design I've thought about. Make sure you have a plan of what kind of design you want to do before you jumping into this step. Um, I did not have a plan, I just kind of went with it and as you can see my petals are all different sizes. Um, so really go in with a plan on how you want yours to look. Maybe do a couple practice um, that are small scale before you jump into the larger one. I also want to point out that remember you need to fit 10 Zentangles. You can do more than 10, but you need at least 10. So make sure you have enough spots to put those Zentangles in. So create a lot of openings for you to work with. After you've made the official outline, you're going to go in with your marker and you are going to trace the whole thing to really make it dark and bold and clean up any of those messy lines that you made. So I'm zooming this up. Um, I'm also, after you've done with tracing it, the whole thing, I want you to take your eraser and erase all of those pencil marks too so you can't see them. So this is perfectly done. Looks like it's all done in pen. There's no more pencil that you can see. beautiful and you're happy with it grab your zentangles and then you're gonna look at all the zentangles that you have remember you should have 24 but you've starred 10 of them that you really like and you are gonna start putting those in so start with one spot and start adding those little doodles remember zentangles are a calming repetitive pattern um, that are it's really just repetitive doodles that should be very relaxing so I am not doing my whole mandala. I'm just going to do a couple petals for you to see and kind of get the idea of what it's going to look like because this project does take a long time and a lot of focus, although it is very, very simple because you already have your Zentangle drawings and you've already made your mandala. So now it's just copy and pasting, really. So you're taking all the ones that you like the best and you are filling it in. And that just, it takes a while to do, so make sure you have enough time to work on this. All right, so I'm gonna zoom in right here because like I said, I'm not gonna do um, the whole mandala. I'm just doing a part of it so you guys get the idea. Um, I've done three different Zentangles and um, I really hope your guys' turns out really nice and you take your time and you get really creative with it. 